Hello friends, welcome to risingpearl.com. Today we are talking about series 7 where we are learning a great deal on quadratic equations. This is episode number 11 and today's topic is nature of roots of a quadratic equation. So what do we mean by nature of roots of a quadratic equation? Let's find out. Now in the last episode, we saw that if we write a quadratic equation in a standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, where abc are real numbers and a not equal to 0, then we know that the two roots of this quadratic equation are these. That is, x will be equal to minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac, the entire thing divided by 2a, and the second root will be minus b minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So the two roots for this quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, will be these two. And we also saw that this will be indeed true for, in order for this to be true, in other words, this term, which is inside the square root 2, that is b square minus 4ac, this should be greater than or equal to 0. And we are going to elaborate that a little bit in this particular episode. Now, so we have written the equation in a standard form, and these are the two roots of the quadratic equation right so let's say let's let's write this term which is b square minus 4ac let us say that this value it will have some value right why because look at the terms a b and c they are just coefficients in the standard form in our quadratic equation so a b and c will have some values and so b square minus 4 4ac will be having some value. Let us call this capital D. Let's represent this value by capital D. So it could be like any number, right? So let's say this is capital D. Now, as long as capital D is greater than or equal to 0, so what happens to these two roots? So our, the two roots become minus B plus square root D by 2a and the second value becomes minus b minus square root d by 2a. In other words, if we have this value d greater than or equal to 0, we get two real values, two real different values. So minus b plus square root d by 2a and the other one is minus b minus square root d by 2a. Just to simplify it, because this is a long term, I'm just trying to replace this term by capital letter D. So it's important to note that we will get two real values and two distinct values for the root. There are two roots and they are distinct because plus square root d and minus square root d. So there will be two different roots and they will be both real, so two distinct real roots if this term is greater than or equal to 0. Now let's find out what happens when this term, again let's write this here, d equals b square minus 4ac. How about if this actually becomes equal to 0? So what happens to our root? So the first root becomes x equals minus b plus square root of 0 divided by 2a and the second root becomes x equal to minus b this is plus so this one will be minus square root 0 by 2a or if you solve this square root 0 is 0 so you get minus b by 2a and here you get this is equal to minus b by 2a because square root 0 is 0. So we notice that if this value b square minus 4ac, if this is 0, then the first root becomes minus b by a and the second root also becomes minus b by a. So in other words, we can say that we are getting two roots, two real roots, but they are the same value. These two are the exact same value right? So in other words, there is 
no difference. We have we are getting two values and they are both same. Or you can say there is one value. Both values are same, so there is essentially one distinct value. But we are still getting some value. Now, the last scenario is that if this value d is equal to which is b square minus 4ac, if this is actually negative, less than 0, then what happens to the two roots? So when this is negative, so what actually, let's understand what does this mean. It means that this value is negative, right? So, so we have square root of a negative number. So let us say whatever this square root of a negative number is, let's say this is equal to something k. We don't know what is k. It is equal to something. Or if we square both sides, we get negative number equal to k square. Right? So what we, let's, let's make sure we follow it here. So we are looking at this condition where b square minus 4ac is negative. So this value is negative, right? Because this is square root d or square root d is negative. So let's say this is actually equal to k. k is some value. So if you square both sides, we get this negative number equals k square. Now, you have a situation where if you think about all real numbers, right? And recall from our last grade, real numbers, they include rational numbers, irrational numbers, all numbers that you can possibly draw a number line. Can you get any number whose square is a negative? An answer is no, you can't get that. So that means this scenario, if d is less than 0, there are no real roots. No real roots for the quadratic equation. So if these coefficients are such, that b square minus 4s is less than 0, we have no real roots. So to sum this up, friends, what we have is, so what we have is, let's actually focus here. So this is a quadratic equation, right? So b square minus 4ac. Now this is really special. So we actually will give it a name. Because this term, b square minus 4ac, is really controlling whether our quadratic equation will have roots or not. So it is determining if our quadratic equation will have roots or not. So the term that we give this is discriminant. And oftentimes, this is actually represented by uppercase letter D, discriminant, because it is determining if the quadratic equation will have real roots or not and how many. So the first case is the discriminant is greater than or equal to 0. So we saw we get two distinct real roots. Next up we saw if the discriminant is equal to 0, we get two equal roots. And finally the third case is if the discriminant is less than 0, we saw that there are no real roots. So friends in the next episode, and in the next maybe a few episodes, we are going to explore some of the questions that you may get on the nature of roots and discriminant.